Welcome to this online seminar that I'm pleased to be co-presenting with my good friend and business partner, Matt Maddox. We are founders of My Health 90. My good friend and co-host, Matt, is also the author of Just Juice It, which is the best juicing book you can buy. He is an expert on juicing. You can pick that up on Amazon. Just go to mattmaddox.com or uh, mattmaddox.com. You can find it or go to amazon.com and search for his name. And uh, we are excited about the topic that we're going to bring you tonight because we're both juicing fans. And uh, Matt, I know you're excited to bring this topic tonight. Not just fans. We're actually fanatics about juicing. (laughs) And uh, Mike, you know, Beth had already asked a question, what's the two best juices to start with? So if you're just now joining tonight, don't forget that over here on the the right or the left, or whatever you're looking at, there's this thing called a chat box. All you gotta do, any questions you wanna ask about juicing, you wanna make comments, um, feel free to just put it right there in the uh, chat box. And uh, this is a live seminar where we're gonna be teaching about juicing and answering questions, but really at the end of the day, Mike, we're here for the viewers, and uh, we're grateful for everyone that is that was able to watch live. We know that there will be thousands of people watching later on the archive and uh, we're just grateful that you've taken time out of your schedule to uh, to listen to this because Mike I believe this is more than just us talking I believe we're going to save lives tonight I believe we're going to change families I believe we're going to help people overcome sickness and disease and lose weight and I believe we're going to help people get the energy that they deserve and that they need and help them sleep better Feel better. Like every part of your life gets better when you get healthier. And as you know, foods affect moods. And one of the reasons why people are always in a bad mood is because what they're eating or what they're not eating. And uh, Mike, let me just tell you right now, I could talk from now until 5 a.m. about juicing and never get tired of it. I am... When I said I'm a fanatic about juicing, I'm straight up a fanatic about it because I believe in it. I've seen it work in my life. I've seen people beat cancer through juicing, overcome sickness, diseases, uh, lose weight, get healthier, feel better. Uh, Every part of their life can change when you juice, Mike. So I'm excited, my friend. And it's a great topic. And tonight, of course, we're going to be talking about the basics of juicing. And one of the things we're going to cover are the 10 questions uh, about juicing. And and as you may know, uh, having, you know, we talk about juicing a lot. We post about it a lot on social media. And so we get a lot of questions about juicing. And so we've taken the top 10 questions and we're going to answer those for you tonight. And hopefully that'll bring some value to you. And, uh, and definitely you'll learn something here tonight. So, uh, I'm going I'm to jump into about this. juicing, but we're going to answer the top 10 that have come through email, conversation, text, you know, Facebook. I probably get a question a, about a question an hour about juicing. And uh, so, you know, honestly, we're here to serve. We really want to help people uh, with this topic tonight. So Mike is right. It's just going to be the basics of juicing and uh, share some kind of tips here. Uh, some basic do's and don'ts, and it is our hope that when you finish this seminar tonight, that you become on fire for juicing and love it and enthusiastic about it, drive everyone absolutely crazy with your excitement about juicing, and I'm looking forward to it, Mike. So let's get right into it, and uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the uh, questions that have come in, my friend. Very good. And uh, I'll just be up here in the corner, small, little up here, if you can still see me, uh, just so you can see the uh, PowerPoint. The PowerPoint. And let me just let me run to this first question. We get this question all the time. This is the number one most asked question that we ever get. And we kind of make fun of it sometimes. But really, someone who's just starting, they genuinely want to know because there's so many different products out there. Matt, What type of juicer should I buy? Well, you know what's funny, Mike, and really I've often teased and said if I had a dollar for every person that asked me what kind of juicer they should buy, I could probably pay off the national debt. (laughs) It is a good question. We do joke about it. No, we don't joke about it. What we joke about is how we'll post a picture and I'll say, just got done juicing with my Nutribullet 
and right under the picture with sincerity, somebody will say, what kind of juicer should I buy? And I wish I could just like draw an arrow and just say, look up a little bit further. <laughs> look at the picture. Yeah, yeah. The name is there. But no, it's okay. Really, Mike, I'm going to give you uh, about five options, okay? Let's go to the first one, and that's obviously my favorite. And uh, that is, well, it's, this one's not my favorite, but it's my suggestion. I'm going to show you my favorite. Go ahead and click the first slide, and that's the Nutribullet 900. Now, you can save a little bit of money by buying lesser uh, neutral bullets, maybe even the 600 or the first one, or what they call them, you know, the, the magic bullet that's really small. Guys, take my word for it that this is worth you spending the extra. So I, I would shoot you straight. If I didn't feel it was worth you spending the extra money, I would tell you. Now, listen, the, the, the neutral bullet 600 will do its job. I lived almost like a year on the neutral bullet 600. But that is definitely the one that you'll want to get. You know, I would definitely, I mean, we're talking like may, maybe a $30 to $40 price difference. I would get the Nutribullet at 900. Everybody asks where, nowadays you can almost get them anywhere. You can get them at Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, Macy's, JC, pretty much almost every department store carries them. Of course, Amazon as well, and then you can even find them, uh, on Craigslist, you know, so definitely take a look at that. The next one, Mike, my favorite is the Nutribullet RX. I am absolutely in love with this. It has changed my world of juicing uh, in so many ways because, first of all, it is so fast. It's like twice the speed and power of the Nutribullet 900. It really makes the juice extremely uh, liquefied and juicy. There's, there's, there's no pulp. I mean, it's not thick. It's so amazing. And uh, I just, Mike, I love it. I've had it a couple of weeks. I, I had the Nutribullet at 600. I was going to go get the 900 because I'd wore my 600 out. And I started investigating the 900 versus the RX. And I'm like, you know what? I'm getting the RX. And dude, I'm telling you right now, if you can afford it, I would go and buy it like tonight. I would I would get off this seminar when we're done. I think Target stays open till 10. I would go to the Target nearest Target as fast as I could, and I would get the RX. Oh, so obviously, Mike, I'm pretty passionate. And, about and by the way, the old Nutribullet. What were you gonna say? I wish we did. I wish we did, but we get no kickback from either Nutribullet or Target. So oh we just really love the product. And I have I have the 900. Love the 900. Absolutely a great machine. Use it several times a day. So uh, that's the Nutribullet, which is which is a blend type juicer. Uh, what about uh, like an extraction juicer? Okay. Well, I'm going to give you three suggestions. Let's go ahead and start with the uh, next slide here. That's the Jack Lane, which I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, biased to Jack Lane because when we were doing Mission 25 last year, which was missions trips in America, yeah. we would juice for the homeless. We would start at like four o'clock in the morning and juice 10 to 15 gallons of carrot and apple juice. And Jack LaLanne's wife sent us, I think it was like four brand new Jack LaLanne's or whatever it was, two or four, or whatever, I can't remember. Whatever it was, I was like, well, I already always loved Jack LaLanne. But now that his wife personally sent us these juicers to help juice for the homeless, I was like, okay, you got my vote. So I'm going to continuously push the Jack LaLanne for many reasons. Other than the fact that I do have the Jack LaLanne. It's been good to me. I love it for the purpose of it. Right. The next one, though, is actually a very powerful juicer, and that's the Breville. Uh, maybe a little bit um, more powerful than the Jack LaLanne. The price is a little bit higher. And a lot of times with juicers, it is true. You do get what you pay for. Like I said... Sometimes it's not that big of a difference to even, you know, but I would tell you if it was. Now, the next one, Mike, is uh, a very powerful, it's actually a commercial juicer, and it's just, you can't go wrong with it. Again, if money's not the issue, I would go after it. For If, if I was in your shoes, the uh, Champion is a really good juicer for juicing stuff like kale, uh, carrots, apples, cucumbers. Mike. The Nutribullet RX, you can juice everything. Beets, carrots, 
But obviously, and I'm going to talk about the difference between juicing and blending here in a little bit, you know, because or extracting, you know, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But that definitely would be the juicers that I would recommend that you get. Mike, you've used the Jack LaLanne. What were your thoughts about it, my friend? I have the Jack LaLanne, which is a, like a centrifugal extraction juicer. I also have the Nutribullet. I probably two years with a Nutribullet 600, served us well. We wore it out, picked up the 900, love it. Uh, there's advantages and disadvantages of both of them. Again, we'll talk about the different kinds. I love both those brands. I think they're a, they're a good investment. Uh, and both of them you know, can be had around that $100, $120 price point, depending on where you find the sales and that sort of thing. So it's not a, it, it, is, a, it is an investment, but it's not an over-the-top investment, and I think it's uh, accessible to, to nearly everyone. Mike, I've always told people. Um, let me jump Go in. ahead. Go ahead. Ask the next question. I'll get back into my point. I'll, I'll remember it. I really will because it kind of follows in with one of the questions we have. Oh, awesome. Well, our, the next question I have is how often should I juice? You know, Mike, a lot of people have different opinions on this. You know, um, if somebody was asking me, I would tell them at least – twice a day, I'm up to three times a day. Um, this is my third juice right here, and I'm gonna tell you about this in a minute. And uh, definitely twice a day. And what I would love to see, and this is what we teach people in My Health 90, and you'll see the website and the logo below. What that is, is that's a health and fitness uh, company that Mike and I started that literally trains people how to lose weight the healthy way uh, by creating healthy uh, choices and healthy habits and living a healthy lifestyle. And Mike, I'm just telling you, if you could get into the habit of juicing twice a day, uh, you would feel better, you would lose weight, you would have more energy, you would have less inflammation, your immune system would become stronger, your mind would be clear, uh, you would sleep better at night, every single part of your life would, I mean every, every part of your life, your skin color, you can literally tell the difference between a juicer and a non-juicer in their skin. People that juice, their skin is very, it's just radiant. It's, it's full of life. And the reason why I say you juice twice a day is because in the typical American diet, I don't know how it is in other countries. I know it's pretty much similar. Mike, we don't get the nutrients that we should. And juicing ensures that your body's gonna get the nutrients. So I would say at least twice a day, at least twice a day. But what I love to see people do, Mike, uh, is juice in the morning or juice in the afternoon, juice when they get home from work. So people say, well, what do I work a lot. Good, juice before work, <laughs> juice after work. And if you really are committed, take your juicer to work. I'm getting on the road tomorrow i i i almost 100 percent of the time travel with my nutribullet i will it's one of the first things i do when i get to where i'm going is go to a local uh you know health food store if possible or somewhere to get fruits and vegetables and i mike i'm to the place i can't go my body feels a difference i feel a difference uh when i'm not juicing compared to when i am juicing People ask me all the time, how do you get so much energy? It's juicing. I mean, a lot of it has to do with attitude and exercise and, you know, being grateful. And there's a whole list, you know, but definitely juicing is at the top, my friend. Very good. Uh, and, and someone had mentioned something about some recipes and we get this question a lot. What is your favorite juice recipe? Ooh, this is so tough, man. I mean, if you'd asked me two years ago, I'd have said, you know, carrot and apple, carrot and apple and ginger. And it's still at the top because, listen, Mike, I've become committed to carrots. I'm a carrot fan. I've seen what carrots can do. Carrots, people ask, you know, how, you know, carrots can heal. There's so much carrots does for our body. So carrots is, carrot and apple is definitely my favorite. Uh, so I'm going to keep it there, but I have others that I love, so it's hard to pick one favorite. You know what I mean? Carrot and apple and ginger, I would say, is at the top, and sometimes I slip a lemon or two in there, and that really makes it amazing. What about you, Mike? Well, what's your favorite, man? Hands down, my favorite in the Jack LaLanne, carrot, apple, cucumber, and a little bit of lemon. 
It is so refreshing, so energizing, so flavorful. It's just like um, springtime in a glass. I don't know how else to explain it. I absolutely love it. But I don't, you know, I just, I love almost anything. If I put some greens and some, and some berries together, uh, I'm pretty easy to please. I like just about every recipe. So. Hands down. Uh, for me, that's a harder question question to answer. But, um, and th th you know, this is a question we get a lot. And actually, last night I was speaking at a church, and somebody asked me afterward, or they said to me, if I had one-tenth of the energy that you have, <laughs> you know, that was the question I had. And, and uh, luckily, I had a book with me, and I handed her the book. And I said, here, read this. And uh, gave her a copy of your book. But and we know that juicing gives us energy in general. Um, but what what can you juice? What sort of a juice really kind of will boost that energy and give you the energy you need? Maybe you're going on a long road trip. You need that extra energy. What kind of juice can I uh, make that will help me with that? I laugh at this because I, Mike, I laugh at this because we all want the, like, magic, you know, like, Bam, like, you know, just give me the one thing, right? So what I tell people right. all the yeah. time is, look, uh, a lifestyle of health and um, healthy emotions, positive thinking, good rest, uh, healthy living, clean eating, water, juicing combined is what's going to give you maximum energy. Now, if you're talking about a pickup or something if you're just low and maybe you're just a lot of times mike the, we, we gotta see I, I i have a hard time with this because i don't practice or study or teach how to deal with symptoms i go straight to causes and what i would like to do is reverse right. and deal with some of the causes for a lack of energy one of the reasons why people have a low energy is because of the amount of sugar uh white flour or bread or uh, sodas or stress or negative emotions such as depression, such as, you know, negative thinking, uh, complaining. But so if I was going to give like a juice, well, first of all, fruits, I believe are God given like fuel for our body, you know. So I would say that, yeah. you know, doing uh, carrots, carrots is, is, in my opinion, anytime I've ever been low on energy and I juiced a lot of carrots, maybe put an apple or a lemon or pineapple or all in it, it's like an immediate, like, it's like giving water to a plant. It's like it just, I come alive, man. So I would have to say carrots, but I'm also going to add something in that's not really juicing, but it is, it is actually, and that's wheatgrass. If I could get on my knees right now and convince every human being to do two to four ounces of wheatgrass every day, I feel like I could save the world. Wheatgrass, Mike, we need, actually, Mike, you know what? We really ought to do a whole seminar on wheatgrass because there's so much to cover because wheatgrass has so many vitamins and minerals and nutrition, over a hundred minerals in, in just wheatgrass alone. I mean, Mike, I, I think you were with me. I remember one time we were on a missions trip. I was on extreme low energy. We didn't get much rest. We were we were up since like 4 a.m. Remember, I said, dude, I got to get to a juice bar. And like one of the first things I did is get like a, I think it was like four to six ounces of wheatgrass. And bam, within a matter of 10 to 15 minutes, I, I came alive, man. That stuff is so powerful. So I would give you the top three would be, you know, fruit, uh, pretty much any fruit, definitely carrots. Definitely greens, wheatgrass, stuff like kale, spinach, all that stuff. But remember this, please. I'm not a quick fix type guy. I believe in overall lifestyle. I can actually teach you how to have a lifestyle of energy to where, you know, I want to have energy that sustains me from the time I wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning or go to bed at, you know, 10 or 11 o'clock at night and not crash or not be moping. I mean, I can honestly right. tell you I live at this peak level of energy all day and it's not because i have this magic juice that i turn to it's because of the overall things that i do that give my body energy and the things that i stay away from that deplete energy you got to know what gives you energy and you got to know what is depleting your energy that's good and so your answer is basically juice 
fresh fruits and vegetables really as a lifestyle and that will give you energy you're right you're right what i'm saying is is there there's no magic like i can't just say okay well you juice this and you're going to have energy what i can tell you is if you juice carrots if you do wheatgrass if you juice fruit uh you're going to have more energy good um, you know, I've, I've heard it said and people, you know, ask us this question. They may, may, may be dealing with sickness and maybe disease. And the question comes up, can juicing literally cure sickness and disease? Well, understand that Mike and I are not doctors. We are health coaches. Right. Uh, we give motivation and encouragement and inspiration. And so please understand, I preface everything that I say when I deal with sickness and disease but I am a fanatic about this. I'm a radical. Uh, it would probably bother some people if they knew to the degree that I believe that juicing is the answer for sickness and disease, juicing and wheatgrass. And of course, Mike, if you know, uh, if you don't heal the emotions, this is why when my health 90, you know, there's a million diets. The guys, there's, there's a hundred ways to lose weight. What we deal with is health. What we deal with is how to have, you got to have a healthy mind, you have to have a healthy body, and you have to have a healthy spirit. You can't separate them. Spirit meaning your your attitude, you know, do you allow bitterness? Do you hold grudges? Uh, are you fearful? Uh, do, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you hateful? Are you angry? Are you a complainer? You know, in other words, your spirit affects your body, your body affects your spirit, your mind affects your body, your body affects your mind. It all works together, Mike. But I will tell you this. Can juicing, look me in the eyes. Everybody that's watching this live and you that are watching later tonight, tomorrow, next week, 100% yes. I know for a fact, I know right now over 10 people, over 10 people that I know that have healed themselves of major diseases through juicing, through clean eating, by cutting out sugar, and red meat. Now, Mike, now listen, if you're sick, and I mean really sick, and you and you have a major disease such as, you know, maybe maybe you had a heart attack, or maybe you had cancer, you have cancer, a tumor, whatever the case may be, you can't keep putting sugar and red meat in your body and drinking Cokes and think that if you go do a, an ounce of wheatgrass or, you know, a, a glass of carrot sure, juice, yeah. that you're gonna be okay. Mike, when you have problems with your liver or cancer or diabetes, yeah, heart disease, yes, you have to change your lifestyle and you've got to commit to health. I'm going to just tell you a quick story about a guy that I know I met, I interviewed him. Uh, he had a tumor in his stomach the size of a football. The doctor told him at best he had 30 days to live, at best. And he went to a nutritionalist in Arkansas. This nutritionist was into all organic. He was into healing the natural way. Uh, he believed in, you know, he believed in juicing. And he said, I want you to do nothing but juice. Go raw. Go raw fruits and vegetables. Mike, the raw lifestyle, you know, again, you know, we live in America and we grew up on fast food and we grew up on red meat. And we grew up on white bread and we grew up on Cokes and French fries and cakes and all this junk. And we wonder why we're so sick and why there's so many diseases in this country. But the power of raw, the power of what God created, fruits and vegetables. Right. You know, he went, he, here's what he did. This is what he, the nutritionist told him. You juice carrot juice every day. I mean, he juiced bags of carrot juice every day. You 100% cut out red meat. 100% cut out sugar. Uh, only eat, you know, salmon. Uh, an organic, you know, chicken, turkey in moderation, get at least an hour of sunshine, uh, cut out the coffees. And, you know, obviously in, in we, we believe and teach. And I know from my studies that coffee in moderation is OK. So I'm not saying that coffee is the bad thing, but obviously he was doing all the dairy, the sugar. He told him to cut out dairy and he said, I want you to uh, drink tea, green tea. Get an hour of sunshine, juice, carrot juice, got him onto wheatgrass. Mike, that was over 12 years ago. 
He's 100% cancer free. I met him. I talked to him with my own eyes. He is such a strong man. You look at him, you think you're looking at Moses, man. He is so radiant because of the nutrition that he put in his body. So I could tell you many stories. The answer is yes, you can heal yourself through juicing, my friends. Comment from one of our live viewers, Jessica. Uh, juicing does help a lot with sicknesses and disease. She says, I had asthma all of my life and it couldn't go anywhere without my inhaler. And now I go days without it and leave it at home, knowing that she's a juicer and it's made a difference in her life. So there's a, a live testimony right there from one of our viewers. Uh, thank you for sharing that, Jessica. I really appreciate that, um, Jessica. Any, any other testimonies, feel free to share. Comments, questions, all that good stuff. Hard to cover it all one night, but we'll see what we can do, Mike. Yeah, I, you know, um, we've had several <laughs> questions come in. Real quick, I'm just gonna, this is not one of our questions, but somebody asked about where you get wheatgrass, uh, and so, if you can answer that in like 30 seconds, we can still stay on quick. schedule. You want to put my timer up, Mike? <laughs> 30 seconds. You ready? Uh, any health food store most likely will do wheatgrass. I'm blessed. Where I live, there's like three or four places I get my wheatgrass. But I will tell you, I'm really into growing my own now. And you can go to Amazon tonight, and you can buy organic wheatgrass seed for less than $8, my friend. Grow your own, and you can juice it uh, right there in your own home and save a lot of money. Because Okay, I hate to say the words wheatgrass is expensive because to me, a Big Mac combo for McDonald's is expensive. <laughs> Charging all that money Doctor Bill is for no nutrients? Like zero. There's zero nutrients in the Big Mac. They're like, what about the lettuce? <laughs> don't talk to me. <laughs> Please don't talk to me. Uh, here we go, Mike. But that's, you know, that's where you can get it. Go to Amazon and just type in organic, organic wheatgrass. So good question. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do it. We'll have to do, look for an upcoming uh, seminar on wheatgrass. We'll definitely get to that. Hey, so here's a question, and we touched on it just briefly. What's the difference between juicing and blending? And we can maybe talk a little bit about the different kinds of juicers and types of juicers as well. Yeah. But can you explain well, juicing versus blending? Absolutely. Something like the Nutribullet or the uh, excuse me, the the Ninja is you know they would consider yep. blending, right? I mean, I still say juicing or whatever, but it's but at the end of the day, here's the main difference. They're both extremely healthy. They really are. What I would tell anybody about this subject is juicing, such as using the Breville, the Jack LaLanne, the Champion, is pure liquid without the fiber. And the reason why this is so important, because people that are really sick or people that have a major disease in their life, they need to juice only. No Nutribullet, no Ninja. They need to use the Breville, the Jack LaLanne, are the champion to extract the fiber because this way when you do the pure liquid, the 100% juice, it goes straight into the bloodstream without any effort of your body having to break down the process of digestion straight up. Like so immediately gets that life in your bloodstream and your, your body, okay? Uh, blending is, don't think that like juicing is healthier because it's not. It's only better for those that, like I said, you know, uh, are sick or have a major disease or whatever. Uh, blending is like takes the whole fruit and vegetable and takes a little bit longer to digest, which is fine. Uh, and that's really the main, the main difference. It just depends on how ill somebody is. So if I had a family member that was really ill, I would get them into just straight up juicing, using the Breville than uh, Jack LaLanne or the Champion. Somebody that's okay, extract, healthy, extract. like yourself, Mike, myself, whatever, my son. I do both. I literally do both. I do juicing and I use my Nutribullet and I use them both pretty much almost every day. But see, the power of using the Nutribullet RX is while it doesn't uh, get rid of some of the pulp, uh, there, it liquefies it so, like, I almost feel like I'm drinking something that I made with my Jack Lane. That's how amazing it is. Good question, though. Right. Hope that helps. Us. At the end of the day, if you're doing, if you're doing either one on a regular basis, twice a day for a healthy lifestyle, it's gonna, it's gonna bring you the benefits that we're talking about, and that's why we really, when we say juicing, we're talking about both. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just to clarify that. Uh, 
We could go probably for a whole seminar on different kinds of juicers, the masticating versus the, the centrifugal and all of that. But at the end of the day, get some juice in your body. Oh, hey, um, so I feel so good tonight, baby. I'm even juicing during our juice seminar. Yeah, that's uh, let me let me ask this. What are some juice recipes for children? And we get this question a lot because some people may, you know, some kids don't like things that are green uh, or they don't like the taste of kale or, you know, some of those sort of situations. And, and of course, juicing is great for kids, gets nutrients into their body. What are some juice recipes that'll be a little bit more kid friendly? Well, let me say this, Mike. I believe juicing should be a family affair. I believe that everybody in the home should become excited about juicing. I believe it should be something we're all enthusiastic about. My son, when I got into juicing, rejected it because it was just like any other kid. He ate fast food all the time and junk and whatever. And so understand that one of the reasons why you think juicing is nasty is because your body is so toxic. Your body is so much poison. The sugars, the chemicals, the toxins that you put in your body through all the bad foods with no nutrition Obviously, at first, your body is going to reject juicing. That's why it tastes nasty. That's why people gag. Trust me on this. If you'll stick with the process of juicing, there'll come a day when your body will crave it and it will no longer taste nasty. Your, chase, your taste buds really do change. But for people that are not used to right. juicing, Mike, I can juice the nastiest of juices and be okay with it because my body's used to it. My taste buds have changed. I crave health, so it doesn't bother me, but I will tell you this, with children, you need to start with pineapple and watermelon and ease into the spinach or kale. Like, I deceived my son, you know, in a good way. I've never deceived him, but I tricked him, let's say that. I tricked him because I made him, I started just fruit, just banana, strawberry, peach, banana, blueberries, you know, apple lemon, you know, pineapple. Then I wanted him to get greens in his body because I so believe in greens and what it can do for your health. So I, I started adding greens and he's like, this is sick. Because I told him I was adding greens. You need your spinach. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not even going to tell him that I'm putting spinach in it. Mike, the same kid that said it was nasty was like, dad, that's amazing. I was like, you like that? I was like, good, I'll make you another one tomorrow. And then just literally every day. And then finally one day he's like, what's in this? And I was like, about this much spinach, <laughs> pineapple, strawberries. He's like, you put spinach in? And I was like, I've been doing it for like two weeks. <laughs> now, no, no big deal. He does it when Caleb makes his own juices, which he does every day now. On his own, he puts in kale and spinach and and vegetables, but with kids, you got to break them in. You know, carrot and apple is how I got them started doing carrots. I can literally juice a whole big thing of nothing but carrots and I'll be fine. But with kids, a lot of times, you know, you might want to add pineapple and apple and lemon. And one of Kale's favorite juices is carrot and apple. So he's really big into carrot and apple. He's really big into spinach, pineapple, watermelon, or spinach, pineapple, strawberry. So I'm going to give some recipes tonight that's going to kind of help with this. Good. Um, and I just noticed our good friend Dave is uh, talking about organic. And so I want to go to this next question. Uh, do you have to juice only organic fruits and vegetables? And we know that in you know certain parts of the country, you know, or you have less access to organic. Maybe you live in a smaller town and there's some organic produce available locally. Uh, sh does it have to be only organic? Well, shout out to my boy Dave and Gene who have gone through My Health 90 and had change their health, lost weight, they're juicing every day now, they're eating healthy, their whole life has become so much better, you know, and their testimony is amazing. So shout out to them. They've gone through My Health 90 and now his wife is in My Health 90 Gold. So uh, do you have to only juice organic fruits and vegetables? The answer to that is no, you don't have to. However, I will say this about organic, okay? And let me be very clear about this because it's very important. Mike, there are certain fruits and vegetables that you absolutely must juice organic. I mean, absolutely. There's some that it's not that big of a deal as long as you wash the fruits and vegetables. Mike, I would never juice anything without washing it first. That is my number one rule of juicing is to wash it. And I think we're going to be talking about that in a little bit. 
Uh, but real quick, Mike, let me go through the quick 12, top 12, hands down. These are the top 12 must. Look at me. I mean must. No no negotiation. No ifs, ands, or buts. These are, this is what you must juice and eat organic. These, this, is, this is the list. Uh, this is cited by every single, I mean, it's Whole Foods, Dr. Oz, you name it. All the health experts in the world uh, will tell you this is what people refer to as the dirty dozen. Number one is apples. I'm a fanatic, Mike. I wouldn't even eat a non-organic apple. I wouldn't juice a non-organic apple. Number two is uh, peaches. You know, a lot of people don't realize that you absolutely must uh, juice and eat organic peaches. Number three is strawberries, uh, huge. And again, you know what's funny, Mike, is people think that it's so much more expensive to buy organic. Um, you know, yes and no. I mean, I have my philosophies about that. Uh, the perceived cost is higher, but at the end of the day, if you eat as healthy as you should, you'll actually spend less on food. And that's a huge myth that people have about health is that you're gonna go broke or you can't afford it. We're gonna help you with that. Number four is grapes. Uh, again, please, I mean, make this a priority to, to make sure that you're juicing and eating uh, this list that I'm giving you organic. Number five is celery. Um, number six, my friend, is spinach. Uh, you can get a tub of organic spinach from pretty much any grocery store for like three to five bucks. It lasts you almost the whole week. So really, like I said, it's not that expensive. Uh, number seven is bell peppers. Uh, very important that you get those organic. Number eight is cucumbers. Number nine, my friends, is cherry tomatoes. Number 10 is hot peppers, like your jalapenos and sweet hot peppers, whatever it is, make sure they're organic. Number 11 is kale. Very important to get your kale organic, organic kale. Number 12 is potatoes. So those are pretty much the top 12, Mike. Uh, the rest, are you're okay. You're safe, but please make sure you wash them. Good question, Mike. Hey, I want to uh, just real quick, we do have a, uh, a free giveaway. Uh, giveaway for our for our viewers tonight. Uh, if you're watching this and you want a list, uh, we've we've created a document that you can print out of those 12 fruits and vegetables that that you should try to buy organic. You can print it out. You can put it up on your uh, your refrigerator or whatever. And it's it's real simple to get that. Just uh, text the word organic to seven two seven three four one five five nine nine, and we'll send a, a link to that uh, right to your phone, and you can download it and print it off. And uh, if you do that, we'll actually, we're also going to send you a link to uh, episode 19 of uh, Fuel for Success, which was a juicing demonstration that Matt and I did together. Mike, that was fun. And, you know, that'll actually help a lot of people because it's one thing to hear it. It's another thing to see it. And I think we went off for like 30, 40 minutes trying different juices and talking about different juicers and showing different recipes. So, yeah, you're going to get that for free just for texting the word organic. To that number that I put up there, and Mike's got it on the screen as well, 727-341-5599. Literally, in the text message, all you got to do is say, organic. <laughs> That's it. Uh, good questions, Mike. That's it. Absolutely. And uh, we've got some viewer questions, too, that we're going to get to in just a little bit. But uh, what is your best advice for someone trying to juice on a low budget. And I know we talked about, you know, the cost of organic and the perceived costs and all those things, but if I'm on a limited budget, maybe a fixed income or whatever, how what's your best advice for that person who wants to juice? Um, Mike, let me say this real quick, because this is a real life situation. We've worked with a lot of single moms that are like budget to the penny. Uh, we've worked with single moms that have four kids, no child support. My heart, Mike, my heart does go out to people that are living in this tough economy and, and like the thought of going and buying enough juice to juice for the whole family. So I tell people all the time, Mike, okay, so here's the deal. No matter what, to be healthy, you've got to have a positive attitude. Even if you're broke, don't say I'm broke. You can say, you know, I'm temporarily out of money for now. 
speak as much life over your finances as possible. Remember, uh, your attitude and your energy can attract money and wealth into your life. It really can. It can cause blessing to come to you. So always stay positive about health. Like don't, don't even make negative comments about the price of something that's healthy. So important, Mike. I really believe in this. This goes back to being healthy emotionally. So no matter what, stay positive. So if you can only make three small changes, start by, you know, guys, I mean, the amount of money that we spend on fast food, the amount of money that we spend on soda, you know, you could start by drinking water, cutting out soda, and, you know, Mike, uh, you want to talk about saving money, um, start with, a start small. Let's start with a tub of organic spinach and a thing of pineapple or a big old watermelon. Watermelons aren't that expensive, right? So if that's all you could do is start with spinach and watermelon and get it in your body. So you've made three simple changes, okay? And what this might cost you maybe $10, but it actually will save you money because remember, if you start exercising every day, walking, swimming, riding a bike, moving your body, you know, drinking water, cutting out soda, and you start with spinach and watermelon. Those are two pretty cost-effective, really powerful ingredients that you can juice that are kid-friendly. I mean, every kid would love, you know, you don't got to do a lot of spinach, but, you know, water, buy a big old watermelon, cut it up, and again, you don't have to buy organic watermelon, so you're safe. Just make sure your, your spinach is organic. Carrots and apples. And uh, Mandy, who asked Carrots. I mean, I know apples can get expensive because you're buying them organic. I'll say the word expensive. They can be a little pricier. Uh, so, you know, that's definitely a start as well. But definitely, Mike, you, you could do it. You literally could start. And my advice is to start now because God honors action and blessing honors action and prosperity honors action. There's something that's in the world of, you know, it's all about energy, Mike. And when you just say, okay, I'm not going to make excuse. I'm not going to pout. I'm not going to be a victim. I'm not going to talk bad about other successful people. I'm not going to be negative. You know what? I might be on food stamps today. I might be down to my last $5. But man, you drink that water and you be positive and you speak faith. And I'm telling you right now, good things will start coming your way. That's good. Great advice. Um, the number 10 question of our top 10, and we get this one a lot. Can you store your juice in the refrigerator? We have 10 already? What's that? Wow, we did good. Mike? Uh, can you store <laughs> Go ahead and answer the question. You can read it there. Can, can you, you store your juice in the refrigerator? Can you store your juice in the refrigerator? A lot of people say, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to juice a bunch of juice, put it in a pitcher, and just have it throughout the week. I understand your theory, but understand the why, why you're juicing in the first place is to get the maximum amount of nutrients from fresh. Okay? So uh, what you want to do is you want to understand the rule of juicing is to drink it right away. I mean, you want to get the nutrients. And what happens, Mike, when you put it, let's say I juice and put it in this cup here, which is full of water. Um, and I just stuck it in the refrigerator and thought I'll drink, you know, I'll drink it after work. You know, is it healthier than a Coke? Yes. <laughs> but it's lost a lot of its nutrition's nutritional value. So something like this, I use mason jars and I use something like this. This is a stainless steel mug. It's completely sealed tight. I would have no problem juicing, putting this in this stainless steel mug and stick in the refrigerator. But my rule and what I have studied and what juicing experts out there, almost as good as me, um, no, I'm just joking, will tell you no more than four hours. Uh, you know, you're okay if it's sealed in a mason jar, whatever. Four to maybe eight hours, you're pushing the limit. Definitely not overnight. Uh, definitely, I would right. say the absolute limit would be eight hours, Mike, because you're going to lose the nutritional value if you store it any longer. So you're better off fresh is best. Nothing beats fresh. Same thing with wheatgrass. I'll give you a quick, and Mike, we need to do a wheatgrass show, man. I wish we could do a wheatgrass show and have everybody that's watching taste it while we're doing it, man. <laughs> 
I would only do it if I could see their reaction. <laughs> the reaction um, but that would be good. <laughs> anyway, that's good stuff. Mike, real quick, uh, did you have a question? Because if not, I just want to give sit seven just quick little nuggets about juicing real quick, and then we can get into some Q&A. About the basics. Yeah, well, let's uh, – yeah, let's do the basics of juice. Now, got, we're at 45 minutes already, and we're, uh, you know, want to be cognizant of people's time. But let's go through these seven nuggets of uh, basics of juicing and then see where we're at and maybe do some Q&A at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, real quick, you know, fast. Uh, juice at least twice a day every day. Juicing's got to become daily for it to have the most power in your life. Daily, daily, daily. Set a goal this day forward. I'm juicing twice a day. And on our Facebook, Mike, we have a Juice 365 challenge. If you haven't joined that, Get it, because Mike and I, starting next week, are going to start doing a juicing tip of the week, and uh, we're going to finish strong. And that's, I think we had over like 1,300 people commit to juice twice a day, every day in 2015. So go join that. It's called Juice365. It's on Facebook. Second thing I would say, Mike, is do at least 65% vegetables and about 35% fruit. Um, again, fruit is amazing. People say, well, what about the sugar and fruit? Understand this that it's a natural sugar and it's actually not bad for you. The only people that need to be careful are diabetics. And what I would say is, is diabetics, uh, as far as the um, glycemic, you know, okay, real quick, watermelon, pineapple, which are, you know, obviously some of the best, but they are very high. So I would tell diabetics to really be careful because that does spike the uh, uh, blood sugar level a little bit because it's so high. Um, but what's okay would be things like, you know, apples, strawberries, pears, peaches, grapes, oranges, bananas, and then the cutoff starts with mango, you know, cantaloupe, pineapple, watermelon. Be careful when you get over into mango, cantaloupe, pineapple, watermelon, if you're diabetic. Um, so, Mike, really we could do a whole show on that alone to try to help people with that because I do believe, again, I go back to this. I believe the right amount of lifestyle, some people could cure their diabetes. And uh, so just be careful, though, if you, you know, with the fruit, again, I don't want to scare you. Fruit's not bad, but some of this fruit does have a higher glycemic index in it. So like I said, you know, watermelon, pineapple, cantaloupe, mango, maybe even bananas. But you're okay in moderation with grapes, peaches, strawberries, pear, apple, grapefruit, cherries, things like that. Uh, right. And if you follow that, 65-35, too, is a good, is a good ratio. Yeah, it really Sorry, is. If you follow that, you'll be okay. Third thing, Mike, real quick, is to um, – uh, where am I at here? Rotate. Yeah, there we go. Rotate your spinach, kale, and Swiss chard. I know a lot of people that do kale every day. I don't do kale every day. I do kale Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sundays. I do spinach Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. So are you that clockwork? I am. I literally go every other day, sometimes every couple of days. It's just good for you to mix it up, and it's good for your blood, and you don't want to overdo spinach. You don't want to overdo kale. So just mix it up a little bit. Those are your three power greens that are good for juicing, and I like to mix them up in my juices. Uh, kale is a little more bitter. Spinach is just you barely can taste it. It just turns your juice green. Suck it up! So, if it's green, suck it up. Juice it anyways, baby. My Lord, it's not going to kill you. You just kill. It's gonna, you're going to have to get some used to, but you'll be okay. All right, Mike, go ahead. What's number four, my friend? <laughs> uh, have fun. Having have fun. fun. You know, people way over complicated. How much should I? How much pineapple? How much apples? You know, guys, when I wrote Just Juice It, we gave 50 recipes in Just Juice It. I did not put the amount because I wanted people to have fun and try and experiment. I could have put the amount, but this is what makes juicing amazing is way too many people overcomplicate it. They're way too tense about it. Like I said, my general rule is I do about 65% of my juicing is vegetables, you know, sometimes maybe even 40, 60, you know, but I do a lot of carrots, a lot of kale, a lot of spinach, a lot of Swiss chard, a lot of beets. Uh, real quick, Mike, I know we got to hurry, man. Let's go through this fast because I want to get to those recipes real quick. Let's try to finish this under an hour. I hope we didn't take too much of y'all's time. And if we did, you know, we're sorry. 
Uh, always make sure you buy Correct. from the organic list. Very important. And then last but not least, number seven, this goes without saying, wash your fruits and vegetables, you know, before juicing. Um, real quick, Mike, Good. you want to, I tell you what, Mike, Katie asked if we can email this power, you know, that we're giving away the, um, can we also text this PowerPoint? Yeah. Um, you know what, if, uh, Let's let's do this. The same number, uh, text organic to seven two seven three four one five five nine nine. You'll get that. Um, just text that number. Text the word organic, and and immediately you'll get those two links. And uh, as soon as I'm done with the show here, I'm going to go ahead and add that uh, the PowerPoint to that, and you'll get that as well. Mm -hmm. How's that sound? Sounds amazing. Uh, well, Mike, I mean, you tell me, you, you, I mean, we're, we're, we're partners in crime here. I mean, we definitely don't want to go over an hour. We got some good recipes we wanted to share, but I know there's been some questions. So you kind of navigate a little bit through that. You want me to go into some of the recipes I can? You want to field some of the questions I can as well? If not, you know, I go ahead. Just honestly, I think we should handle some of these questions because the live viewers are here. They're with us. They ask questions. Let's see what we can do. Worst case, you're going to look at the PowerPoint and get the recipes. But we'll see what we can rip through here. How's that? Hey, let's give it a shot. Um, Go ahead and fire away the questions, Mike. Well, this is this is actually from Katie here. What are uh, best juiced in ingredients for protein? Uh, you know, bro greens. Uh, greens is really high in protein. Yeah. Um, broccoli is the highest. So, and I juice broccoli. I really do. I know it's nasty. It's nasty. I I put my body through it so I can have maximum health and energy. And broccoli is one of the best sources of protein as far as plant-based. Greens, uh, some of the best, Mike. Good question, Katie. Good. And and Mandy, who uh, mentioned that, uh, sounds like she's going, she's been juicing for a couple of days uh, and was feeling some effects that sounds like uh, her body is detoxing. Uh, how long can she expect that to happen? Can you just explain a little bit about that process, what your body goes through? I, it can. See, that's what a lot of people think, that if you juice, all of a sudden you're going like, to want to go run a marathon. I mean, it's actually the opposite. When you first start into health, you will detox, you will get moody, you will get headaches, you will have many, many bowel movements most likely, and which is we celebrate in our home, Caleb and I, it's like celebration. Because bowel movements are where it's at, baby. You need them. You need it for your health. You can't be healthy without it. Two to three a day at least. But, you know, you can expect a lot of changes. But, Mike, I'd say it depends on how toxic your body is. If you do a lot of water and you're exercising and you're eliminating the junk and you're juicing, I'd say anywhere from two to four weeks. Depends. Again, if you're really toxic, it could take up to four weeks. I would tell you though, don't be alarmed. Don't freak out. You know, I know all your unhealthy friends are saying, see, I told you, once you start juicing, see all that stuff ain't real. You got all these headaches, you ain't got no energy. That's, that's a bunch of hype. No, they're actually wrong. It's part of the detox process, my friends. You gotta realize what I've gone through. I've traveled the world and I've heard all the naysayers about juicing. You know what's funny? Anyways, it's not funny. Go ahead, Mike, good question. It's not funny, and, and they will sound exactly like that, just FYI. Um, <laughs> our, our very good friend Ashley from California is asking, do you ever use coconut water with your juice recipes? Almost all the time. Now, again, can, for those that are on a tight budget, this can get pricey. I do use coconut water in a lot of my juices uh, because of the benefits of coconut water and what it does for your body, and I like it. I like it in some different recipes. I don't do it for all. 50-50. Good. Um, other than a juicer, is there any other essential equipment that you need to get started? Mary's asking. And we've covered juicers already, so is there any other equipment? No, I mean, really, there's not. I mean, good question. It's, it's a good question. It's a very good question. No, I mean, no, other than like, you know, some mason jars, because if you're going to take a juice to work, you're okay. If you juice in the morning before work and you put it in a mason jar in a cold cooler, you're okay to have it by lunch, you know, by 10 a.m. Because we teach in My Health 90, eat or juice every three to four hours, and you're going to have a lot of energy and you're going to feel amazing. Yes, absolutely. Uh, other, other than a knife and a cutting board, you'll probably want those. Um, 
Beth had asked the question, and we're probably going to cover this in the very next part of the PowerPoint, what are some of the best juices to start with? And I think with that, let's go ahead and hop over to uh, to the PowerPoint. We'll cover uh, some of your favorite juices. And number one, How's that number one, and I'll go fast because we're going to give this to you. Care apple ginger, number one. Number two, one of my all-time favorites, guys. It's my top three. Amazing, especially in the mornings. This, okay, this right here, what I'm about to give you, will give you natural energy. Uh, and that's kale, oatmeal, like literally, you don't cook the oatmeal, you just put the oats in there, you know that. Cinnamon, banana, coconut water. That, my friends, is like walking into heaven. It's amazing. So good. Yeah. Uh, that, what's that, Mike? You'll, you'll want to make sure that you're using a blend type juicer when you put oatmeal in. You don't want to run that through a Jack LaLanne or a, a Breville. Mike, that's so actually that, a really that good recipe point. Specific to that. Mike's made a good point. A lot of these juices, you'll, you'll, you'll just, you'll learn, you know, some of you the hard way, some of you, hopefully you have us. Um, but Mike, thank you for bringing that up. You're right. The next one would be uh, spinach, pineapple, watermelon. One of the best for kids. Uh, very good juice. Any parent out there would be smart to start their kids on that tomorrow. Uh, and start low on the spinach at first. Work, work them up to it. Uh, next would be kale. And this is a hardcore one. I'm not going to lie. This is hardcore, but it's amazing. You will feel like the incredible hawk when you're done juicing this. The incredible hawk. Really? Wow. Incredible hawk. Kale, tomatoes. Red, Mike, am I having like an 80s, like something going on in my life over the last few days? If you've watched Fuel for Success, you'll know. So, uh, kale, so. tomatoes, red pepper, jalapeno, garlic. Garlic. For any of you that are really sick, garlic. Kale gets sick. I'm like, okay, buddy, you're going to have to slam it. Plug your nose because this is a plug your nose drink. Me, I had used to plug my nose when I drank this. Now I don't have to, but I used to have to. But I put a lot of garlic in this because garlic is so powerful for fighting off sickness and diseases and colds. Carrots and beets. Now, Mike, that's a hardcore drink. What do you think of it? I know you can handle it. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love jalapeno in the juice. That's why I circled it here. Jalapeno right there. Love it. It's great stuff. Uh, it'll cayenne give pepper, you a juice totally different some dynamic. cayenne pepper in that jank, man. Awesome. Let's go to the next one. And this is one of the best. This is good for those that have heart problems, good for antioxidants, really good for energy. Antioxidants. Really good for energy. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, grapes. And of course, know this. I was going to bring my Nutribullet up and show you guys. But guys, one of you are not having good experience with the Nutribullet because you don't add enough water. I literally go to the level of the fruits and vegetables with water. I add that much water to liquefy it more. Some of you need to add more water. So a juice like this is really good, especially if you add a lot of water. You throw a banana in this as well and really make it good. Uh, but I don't do a lot of bananas, Mike. I'm about a half a banana a day type guy. Um, so this is another really good one. Uh, where am I? Apple, peach, pineapple, banana, spinach, or kale. It's a really good one. Just really fruity, really good for like a summer juice with the kids or whatever. Uh, next one would be kale, beets. Beets I love. I, did, I used to hate beets, but now I love beets. And this is a really good one. It's kale, beets, and pineapple or apple. And, you know, with ginger. It's a really good juice. Ginger. Yeah, ginger is amazing. I almost had ginger to almost everything. And this is one you would want to put through the Breville, the, uh, the Jack LaLanne, the Champion. And then if you have the Nutribullet RX, you could do it. But the beets uh, and the kale, it's hard to juice kale um, and beets in a normal, say, Nutribullet because it makes it feel so thick. Uh, but anyways... Very thick, yeah. um, next one would be grapes, watermelon, banana. See, uh, listen, I wrote 50 recipes in this book because you can literally mix, try things, have fun with it, you know, but this is a good one. Grapes, watermelon, banana, uh, spinach or kale. And then, uh, you know, Mike, that's pretty much, you know, would be my top suggestions. What about you? I know you're a big fan of carrot apple and you pretty much do it all, you know, ginger, uh, tell you what, one of my favorites, I can't believe I didn't put it in here, 
is spinach and lemon, kale and lemon. Like, and you know what I'll do? Sometimes I'll do a whole bunch of kale and two whole lemons and water and blend it all up and drink it. It's so refreshing. So most of the time I cut off That's the good. lemon peels, but half the time I keep them on. It just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. It's just very like strong tasting. Yeah. Gives it a very pungent. Uh, I like anything with ginger. And if you've never tried ginger in your juice, put it in there. If you've never tried jalapeno in your juice. That's another great way to go. Yeah. So. Well, guys, we're almost out of time. This has been awesome, Mike. And we really, the whole goal of tonight was to help people. Anybody that's watching live uh, and you have never heard of My Health 90 or you're watching on the archive, I'm asking you to go to myhealth90.com and just look at it because it is Mike and I, we're both health coaches. We've helped coach people one-on-one -on -one to lose 100 pounds the healthy way, 80 pounds, 60 pounds. And what we've developed is a 90-day training process to help you lose weight the healthy way. And it's really simple. Just go to myhealth90.com, Mike. That's that very last slide. I think I threw the website on there. Go check it out. And one of the things we teach in My Health 90 is we give everyone daily five habits, five daily habits. And one of those daily habits is to juice twice a day. And, uh, you know, we're here to help motivate you, coach you, train you, keep you accountable, and most importantly, give you support. So a couple of things real quick, Mike. Tell them about our next upcoming seminar. Also, remind them about sure. the how to get the free PowerPoint and uh, juicing demonstration and the dirty dozen of the must organic fruits and vegetables. And then, you know, please do me a favor. If you guys enjoy this and you got family and friends that would benefit from it, text them the link, put it on your Facebook, spread the message, guys. You know, we're, we'll, by tomorrow, there'll be thousands of people that have watched this. And we want to thank every single one of you that took the time to watch this. So, Mike, tell them a little bit about our upcoming seminar, my friend. Sure. Next uh, Thursday, same time, 9 o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be doing a, an online seminar called 15 Foods That Cause Weight Gain. And uh, I'm going to put the link up. Uh, it's up there above us, 15 Foods That Cause Weight Gain. You can go there and uh, register to get a, a reminder email or text. And we'd love to see you 9 o'clock Eastern Time uh, next Thursday. On That's the 18th, I believe. Yeah. And, uh, one more time, quickly, if you want the list of the Dirty Dozen foods that must be organic, text the word organic to 727-341-5599. We'll also send you a copy of the PowerPoint uh, from tonight's presentation. Um, and we covered a lot tonight, Mike. And you mind. can watch this as many times as you want. We're keeping this out there for free. All you got to do is save this link and just click it. You can watch it on your phone. You can... Show it to your Sunday school class. If you own a business, you can show it to your staff at lunch. Start juicing parties at work. You know, let's get radical, my friends. We love you guys. We thank you so much. Follow Mike and I on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. We're here for you. We're here to serve. We're here to uh, help you in any way that we can. And uh, don't, be, don't hesitate to uh, ask if you have any questions. Uh, please also know that um, My Health 90, uh, Mike, real quick, uh, on myhealth90.com, there's a free health evaluation. So it's based on 10 questions that will tell you exactly how healthy you are. So go to myhealth90.com and check out that free health evaluation. And we're looking forward to uh, connecting with all you guys, man. Mike, thanks so much, bro, for all your hard work with all this, man. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for all the great information. And, uh, and also, of course, thanks to everybody that joined us live here tonight. Uh, thanks for all the input and the feedback and the questions. It was wonderful. Great hanging out with y'all and uh, have an excellent remainder of your Thursday night. Great Friday. And of course, have a super weekend. God bless y'all.